Welcome back to Red Blue Labs. Today I'm going to be talking about fuzzing. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the concept of fuzzing, basically it means that I want to, when I want to tackle a piece of software, I'm going to be sending at it a whole bunch of potentially random strings, uh, random variables, or whatever, to that piece of software to potentially get that that software to respond in a different way, uh, have it show a bug that is present in the code or whatever. So today I'm going to be doing that on a, a live target, a particular website, and we're going to be seeing fuzzing in action. We're going to be doing some parameter discovery in PHP. All right, let's dig right in. First thing you're going to need to do before you get started on this is get, get familiar with a couple key tools. I'm going to be showing you uh, WFuzz, and we're going to be using uh, sec lists. Now, if you want as a reference, you can also locate some of these tools on my website. You can go to uh, ChevyPorpose.com, go to down to tools, and go over to security lists. And over here, you can see we've got a download. Put that file wherever you want. Uh, likely, you've already got this, but there there's a reference for you. Uh, additionally, I have some of my notes uh, from this video written down here in the hack flow, down in the PHP section over here, where we have some of the, the literal uh, strings that you can copy and paste into the terminal, and then we can go through some of the, the flow. Let's go take a peek at the website and see what's going on over there. Navigate to the website. It redirects us immediately to login.php. Now from here we could do some manual SQL injection, do, do a couple tests. I've worked on this machine a bit, so I know that none of the manual SQL injections are actually going to be successful. And that's okay, because what we want to do is get to the point of doing some fuzzing. So where do we find a page that needs to be fuzzed, right? This one redirected to uh, login.php. What we need to do first is do a little bit of directory enumeration to try to find the particular page that is going to be our choice or more probable for being fuzzed. So let's go ahead and check that out. We're going to do GoBuster. GoBuster is an awesome tool for directory enumeration. So if you want, you can use a command hundred. And so we'll, we'll launch that. I'll pause uh, because it's going to go take a little bit of time. We're probably going to go pretty fast through this. Okay. Let's go and take. We got. We've been to login. There's image.php, header.php, uh, footer.php. So these are all pages that we could navigate to. So we want to actually be doing fuzzing on one of these PHP pages. So what you do is you actually navigate to that that location, and then and then see what happens. And we can we can tell right away some information. We don't even need to go to the browser because we can see that it's redirecting to login. So if I were to put header.php into the browser, it would redirect to login. Same for index, same for upload, same for uh, not that one, but this guy here is going to redirect to login and logo. So the re it's all redirecting to login.php except one page, which is important because this one here is not going to do that. It if I were to put that in there and let's go ahead let's go ahead and do that. And then put what was it? image.php. It's just going to sit there. And I want to discover if there's any parameters within this PHP that I can send to it. So we're going to actually do brute forcing, essentially that's what fuzzing is, and we're going to blast this particular page here, this one right here, and see if it if it takes any of the parameters in the word list. Okay, so this is the command that you can use to do fuzzing. So we're going to call up the application URL And the page that I want to target is image.php fuzz. This is the the sort of like the placeholder. Um, and I want to be looking for etc password. 
this is a really common thing to look for first. Um, because typically when you're on the on a Linux OS, you can just access it and just read it. And if we can grab this, it's very helpful when we're doing our CTF because then we can see who are the users on my target system. Now I'm going to use a word list and you'll see right over here that I'm actually currently already in the directory that holds the word list that I want. I did that only so that the to make my string, my, my whole command a little bit shorter. Um, but the one that I'm going to use for this purpose is burp parameter names. There are a ton of word lists. You just got to practice and use them and, and see what, what what works best for you. So we got my word list there. Uh, I like to go a little bit faster. And let's run this. And just let it, just give it some time. It's it's working its way through. I'm going to pause the video and we'll see the end result and we had a parameter pop up. So this might be a little confusing. So what do I, what do you do with, with this at this point? Okay, well, let's go ahead and tackle that. So we know we've got a parameter that was accepted by that particular page. Great. Now let's go ahead and manipulate the, the URL to give us some information. I've got the page back open here. And what we're going to do is we're going to manipulate this URL just a tad and Put a question mark, and we're going to do our parameter that we found, which is IMG. And we're going to say this parameter equals etc password, and then enter. Okay, so it's a CTF machine, and hacking was detected. So we need to work a, work a way around. You may, the, in your testing, you may actually have succeeded in grabbing the ETC password. That's awesome. And if you can do that and grab ETC, try it with other things. You know, do a who am I? Do an, an LS. Do a navigate around in the directories. Okay. Uh, but we're going to do a step further and we're going to be sending some uh, uh, base64. See if that changes this a little bit. Okay. So let's go back up to our URL. And we're going to uh, do some PHP filtering. So I'm going to come back here. Image equals, and I'm going to look at my notes as well. PHP filter convert base 64 decoder resource equals etc password okay and then hit enter and we've got the we've got the etc password which is awesome uh, knowing that we would go and do some more more discovery on on our target system if you're looking for where that command is you can go to my website shabbyporpoise.com go to hackflow and then go down to php all of the commands that i had on this video are in that on that website Hey, if you're enjoying this content, please go ahead and like and subscribe. That would be awesome. It helps me out. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.